It's like it reminds me of that one comic from that Linkara reviewed where Batman and Batgirl, aka Cassandra Kane, are fighting this one bad guy. Yeah. Who somehow he can't process the fact that he's able to turn dead bodies into like a fuel engine. And instead of just simply using that to, you know, make money, oh no, he's gonna try to, to take over the world. And in the entire video, Linkara is just like, DUDE! YOU ARE ABLE TO MAKE MONEY OFF OF THIS! WHY ARE YOU SO STUPID?! Oh my god! So many looking balls! Maynard is after you. I don't know what his fucking deal is. Ah! Get out of here! I mean, I guess maybe Maynard's angry that you haven't listened to Fear Inoculum. Uh... <laughs> ah! Is that a hiccup? No. That was me freaking out because that thing... I was hitting, the, uh, hitting that switch! <laughs> I was hitting that... I was about... Yeah, I was hitting that switch, um... Because it unlocks a bunch of things, and then um, those hellish ghosts appeared. I'm like, ah, damn it! I was about to say, if that was you squeak, if that was you like squeaking, that was adorable. Get your ass over here! Fucking hell! Contact? I will say this: the uh, ch this robot chick. Yes, it's a robot chicken. Your eyes do not deceive you. At one point, you're um, yeah. Here we go. You're you're fucking shooting him while you're falling. And I'm free! Free, free falling! Damn it! Here we go. Now I've fixed up everything. Damn it! Ah! Damn it. There we go. Ah, damn it. Oh, I'm at 1%. Jesus. Ah! That. Well, you're dead. Mama! Hoo! I don't want to die. I sometimes wish I've never been born at all. I see him. Ah! Hang on. I, I can't concentrate while I'm. I can't, like. Lear, like, sing the lyrics while I'm getting my ass kicked by this thing. Also, apparently, they announced they're gonna make a biopic on Michael Jackson. How many more movies are there gonna be based on, you know, popular musicians? For as long as they can push him out. Yeah, it's. Like, they care more about the money instead of actually getting the historical accuracy right. I mean, to be fair, apparently this one, they did get Janet Jackson ex as executive producer, so there's hope. Yeah, do your fucking homework and stop taking artistic liberties. Yeah. That's, well, why, I I didn't hope... That's why I didn't bother with Bohemian Rhapsody, because I heard there were so many historical inaccuracies. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to support the movie like that. Yeah, I think that movie kind of portrayed it, um, what's his face, um... Uh, Freddie Mercury is a little bit egotistical, which I don't think. Fr I mean, I've never really read any stories about Freddie Mercury being egotistical. Oh, you Bomb son of a bitch! Ooh. He took the fucking boost bubble from me, you asshole! <laughs> I mean, bombastic probably, but egotistical? I don't think so. Son of a bitch. Like, we have a scene about how We Will Rock You happens, and that scene takes place in 1980. Like, dude, the song came out in 1977. Get your facts straight. Uh, it's sort of similar to how many people felt with, like, Tupac's, uh, the biopic on Tupac. Son of a bitch. On me, which everybody felt like, the only good thing about that movie was the actor playing Tupac. He at least tried, but the no! movie was oh. horribly inaccurate to the actual story of Tupac. Yeah, if we're going to do a historical movie, get the fucking facts straight. Oh, we gotta make it relatable to the people. We gotta make it entertaining. Well, maybe you should have thought of that first before you decided to make a movie based on a historical, like, timeline. 
Yeah, yeah, it's sort of the similar situation I am with the uh, movie Lord of Chaos, which is a biopic about the Norwegian black metal scene. And while I did like the movie, it is horribly inaccurate to everything that happened in this in the actual real life events. I could, like, I could go on a tangent about everything they got wrong in that movie, but I think that movie is more entertaining Damn as it. a story than as a historical... Oh, Yep. As a historical context. Damn it. Also, oh, the shit. trap, the uh, donate button if you want. You can make <laughs> some funny uh, text speeches again. You son of a bitch! Yeah, piss off! Fucking psychro. Hey! Yes, I know. I'm buying some time right now to take care of these flying saucers here. And, okay, yeah, all right. There is no shame in doing that. <laughs> yep, that's Pete. If every historically inaccurate movies were terrible, that's a discussion. I'd rather be entertained by something than something that bores me. You can be both accurate and entertaining. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. As much as I am perfectly fine with movies, like, not every movie has to be immensely accurate. But if you're basing it off of someone's life, you have to at least put in the effort to make it accurate. I think that's, like, one thing people, like, people said about the Elvis movie, that... It did get some facts wrong, but for the most part, it actually did a pretty decent job explaining Elvis' backstory. Oh, and, you know, how much his manager, Colonel Park, uh, Colonel Tom Parker, was a piece of shit. What? <sighs> we. Oh, no. Oh, no. Asteroid! Oh. Asteroid! Ground control to Major Tom! <laughs> you know, it's funny, after the amount of times you whip him, he doesn't like... He doesn't attack you for that. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <gasps> oh, yay! What? A YouTuber I watch who's kind of a tech reviewer, he does a YouTube series called When Phones Were Fun. And he looks at phones from, like, either the very beginning of when smart of when phones were starting, or in the early two, or, like, the late or early 2000s when phones, you know, were... Creative, goofy, and maybe a little bit kind of impressive, you know, before the iPhone came in, decided, hey, let's make phones um, more about software and anything. And apparently he's finally going to do another video for that series. Did but one of them turn into a Fisher-Price phone? No, no. <laughs> but a <laughs> I knew you were going to make a reference to that. Fucking <laughs> Mr. Rice phone pops up. And it decides to ring the fuck out of nowhere, terrifying the shit out of people. <laughs> people are still terrified of that scene. <laughs> there are stories to share when we were watching Skinamarink. It was just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the movie is absolute nightmare fuel. Like, goddamn, it fucked me up. 
But there's like, the... like there's some shit that I would laugh my ass off at. <laughs> like I think many people did kind of like chuckle a bit at the scene where the kids go to the bathroom and the toilet's gone. Oh yeah, no, Riley was like, oh cool, I needed to take a shit after a while. Oh wait, it's gone. Well, looks like you gotta hold it in for the rest of your life now, Riley. <laughs> we shouldn't give out any spoilers. No, again, to anybody interested, it's called Skinamarink. It's a really interesting horror movie, but be warned, it is slow. Like, very slow. It's slow, and it kind of, like, it's also, like, the premise is very disturbing. But it is a very slow movie. Um... Are you serious? Because uh, I think people who even watched it, like, even those who praise the movie can be like, yeah, it takes a long time to get to point A, point B. And then they even pointed out that the ending also kind of feels like it drags on for a little bit too long. It's underexplained. It's like, what's going on here? Yeah, it, I think that's the biggest strength, that it kind of leaves a lot of things up to interpretation. But at the same time, I understand why it's not everybody's cup of tea. Like, apparently on on Rotten Tomatoes, and I usually hate Rotten Tomatoes, but might as well, uh, Rotten Tomatoes seems to have more um, of a praise by the critics than the viewers. Like, critics are, like, the critics are like, okay, it's, Get it's off really me. good. Like, Get off me! Ooh. Run! 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 Ah, damn it. Goddamn like, saucers. Like, the critics gave it 74% on Rotten Tomatoes, but the audience gave it a 45. Ouch. Which, again, I can I can sort of see why you expect, like, a spooky horror movie, and instead you end up watching, like, maybe 10 minutes of a wall. <laughs> or a corner, so... Oh, fucking hell. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> this is for both also, of our I... good. Go ahead. Yeah. Also, I know that apparently it scared Ryza and Shades. <laughs> oh, it has. That's why I tease them. <laughs> Poor Ryza's just like, I don't want to watch it again. Hey, Ryza, what? In this house. <laughs> In this house. <laughs> Oh, I, I keep seeing that pink dog, and all I can think is... Courage? Courage of the Cowardly Dog? What are you Get doing off here? Me! Get off me! God damn it. Oh, thank God. I hate it when they like you're stuck on something. I hate when games do that. What the fuck? What? The meteors! They wouldn't stop! Yep! Yep! Nope! Alright, I guess God, I'm gonna have to get him on that too. Seriously, that dog looks like courage if he finally had enough of Hustis' shit. Stupid dog, am I? Huh? <sighs> God damn it. This level isn't time limited, is it? No. God damn it. Okay, thank God. God damn it. It's annoying at times, but it's still fun. I suppose. It's not too brace. Uh... 
Oh god. Yeah. And I guess there's no way to stop it either? I guess, um, well, I mean, the UFOs are at least taken care of. I suppose, but I guess there's no way to stop it from t it taking you away or, you know, it transforming into a monster. Uh oh. Time to whip it good. All right. Whip it, whip it. You must whip it. Oh, thank God it's gone. Ah, extra health. All right, well, Pete is now home safely. Yay! Groovy. Borzia Wolfhound? But Wolfhead isn't here. What? God damn it. <laughs> you said Wolfhound, I'm like, but Wolfhead isn't here. Oh god. There will be blood. Yeah. <laughs> I have not seen that movie, but I've seen many clips of it, and it just looks amazing. Uh, I've seen it. I hated it. Oh, uh, you hated it? Yes. Viciously. <laughs> Is it because the main character was a piece of shit? It was a piece of shit, but at the same time, the movie has, like, no payoff. I guess it's just sort of like one of those movies where you have to just simply focus on the actions the villain has and just how farther he goes to be depraved and evil. 